So I'm going to introduce everybody just by name. You can hold up your hand and we'll get going um, before we do. Max, I think we have enough to start season two up here, right? Do you have any actors? Anybody from the show? We can just start, got a camera. All right, so uh, Max Bornstein is our showrunner, executive producer, co-creator, and writer. Uh, we have um, pilot and co-series director of photography, Todd Von Hazel. There he is. Co-series director of photography, Mihai, and I don't even know how to say your last name. Malamari, thank you. <laughs> C camera operator, second unit director of photography, Justin Cameron, SOC. Executive producer and writer, Rodney Barnes. Uh, the episode director of what we saw tonight and also episode nine. Uh, I would say the first thing that happened was Todd. Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, Adam made a great selection. And then Todd is a genius, but also he saw, I think he looked at it as, you know, he can speak more eloquently than me, but when I came in uh, to kind of hear about it for the first time, uh, the idea that he generated was taking this layered approach, because the script itself had, uh, you know, flashes and animation and different kinds of, almost like, you know, it's not a documentary, it's a docudrama, but using, it has a sort of like documentary vocabulary or vernacular where it can jump away, uh, do these cutaways, have people talk to the camera like they might in a documentary. Besides everything to be right. So where were the biggest challenges for you? Did you have to reproduce or could you find and buy stuff or is it all built? I would say the majority of the stuff that you see on screen was built for the cast. I mean, you're not just dealing with like the one-offs for Kareem as a stunt double or a basketball double. And you're also dealing with people that are much larger than, you know, the clothing that you might find out there right now. I think a lot about this episode when you see Kareem with the swollen ankle and somebody, one of the ADs came up and said, oh, we're gonna need a size up from Kareem's shoe next week for a close up on this shoe. And I was like, he wears a size 17. We have to have a custom made. <laughs> and you were constantly kind of dealing with challenges like that. And I think the speed that we had to work at was kind of the biggest thing. But I will say it's a testament to the collaboration here that you were constantly able to communicate with one another and kind of test things constantly with Todd or Mihai and talk about ideas back and forth and you could just keep that kind of moving. You know, because uh, through, I'm like I said, I love hoops and you know, you tune into a series called Winning Time, The Rise of the Lakers Dynasty, you think you're gonna see a lot of basketball and we don't in fact see that much basketball um, sort of, you know, scattered throughout until we get to, I guess nine and, and then now 10. That's when it all comes together. So I know there was a system in place. You can talk a little bit about that. They had done some basketball, but you had the shoulder, you had the shoulder of the lion's, lion's share of it. Yeah, they saved it all for this lucky lady. <laughs> um, you know, I came to it, thank God, I had some sort of basketball um, IQ, uh, played in school, and uh, kids play, and you know, and I loved the game. Um, I think as a, what was exciting for me is that I don't think they had actually completely found what they wanted the basketball to be yet, which really left this opportunity coming into a show as a guest director um, for Todd and I to really jump in there and say, okay, what are you liking? What aren't you liking? And how can we just have so much fun doing this? And then it became, but if you just wanna see footage, you know, the docu footage, you can watch that. That's not what we're here to see. We're here to see the narrative inside of the basketball and be inside of the basketball. And that's what um, became exciting. And then I, I remember the first day I came just to visit the set and they had uh, uh, John Skater, our skater guy. John Like. Yes, so he was re rehearsing something, and I was like, oh, how much are you using him? And they're like, a little bit. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. we're gonna be using this. <laughs> Just because a lot of those really dynamic shots where you're really, you feel like you're following, like when you're going through the legs and then you're following, that's all him. And so mixed with all the other things, you know, our, the icky and the, oh, you know, the camp, you know, the TV kind of footage and, I think we started adding going behind the crowd. Mm -hmm. We really just together 
added so much to it, but I think it, what, when you look at it, it really comes down to that we told the narrative inside of that basketball. What what are the guys, what is the pain that Kareem is going through? What is the joy that Magic is having during that? Um, and oh my God, these two rode us about that damn sky hook. I'm like, I'm doing my best. Kareem did it. His, Kareem has been working on this whole life. We're gonna get Solomon, it's gonna be great. <laughs> And um... <laughs> so it was really just recounting and sort of being sentimental and going down memory lane. And when we're sort of needing the script out and really throughout the season, uh, going back to that period of time with things that you remember, both from the game of basketball and society and what was happening in the backdrop of the world. And I think, um, you know, we have such an exceptional team here, folks with the costumes and Rich and what everybody does that um, it's really not that difficult. I mean, I think um, what we try to